Hello, I wanted to go over an activity that works really well for the Daniel and the Lion's Den lesson that is a part of our nursery um, curriculum for this month. So in the nursery at the outlet, we choose a topic and theme for the month and kind of flesh that out because we want our babies to be able to understand the key basics. And repetition, as you guys know, is key in order for your toddler or early elementary school child to understand and retain the information. They must hear it again and again and again. So this is a fun activity that will highlight some of the themes and messages that are brought out in the message video. Um, the first part of this activity, and there will be a link for you to download this two-page sheet if you wanted to download it and color it with your child. I think that'd be a great activity to do as well. Um, the first part um, deals with building a cave. Actually building a lion's den, you can use different things around the house. You can just simply take a blanket and kind of put it up over a chair, a couple chairs, and let that be like a little tent and mimic a lion's den. And you can be the lion and your child can be Daniel, or you can be Daniel and your child can be the lion. That actually may be easier. And you can just role play the responses that Daniel had when he confronted the lion based off of the um, story in the Bible. And then that could be a great way for your child to see and visualize how we should respond when we encounter a situation that makes us somewhat scared. So that's a fun activity to do. Um, then as you keep reviewing the activity, there's a couple call and responses. So another important thing that we do in nurseries, we do call and response. Once again, it's to help the um, help your child understand and retain some key information and key facts that we want them to get from the particular video message. So for this one, um, you would say together, I'm not afraid. And then you would say, I pray. So the reason that you're not afraid is because you pray. And so just keep repeating those motions and keep repeating those phrases um, when you watch the video message and throughout the week so that it becomes ingrained into your child's head that, hey, whenever I feel afraid, I know that I immediately need to pray. Um, and so then that relates right to Daniel. What did Daniel do when he encountered the lions? He prayed. Will God help you when you're afraid? Yes. So just repeating these themes throughout the week will help make a connection between the message video and actually what you want your child to begin to live out, even at an early age, um, as young as a toddler. Um, and this next page just has some coloring, has some more questions. Once again, what do you say when you're afraid? Goodbye, fear. God is here. And I think that is an excellent takeaway from this whole entire message. Goodbye, fear. God is here. And that is something that you can repeat with your child throughout the week. And then they can begin to just repeat it on their own. And that will begin to submit themselves in their brain that, hey, I don't have to fear because God is always here with me. That is the key thing that we want them to get from the message video for the month of June. Um, as your child progresses through Emerging Jane and goes through the different phases and stages, we definitely are building up on the key themes that we see um, and we want them to leave Emerging Gen when they are, you know, after they graduate high school, we want them to leave complete and whole, having understanding of some foundational key elements. So that is um, a great, this is a great activity to complete for the first part of the message video. Um, and next week we will have another activity and some other phrases and key things that you can repeat with your child throughout the week to help them get this ingrained into their head. Have a wonderfully blessed week.